evening guys uh, it's Steve and uh, it is Thursday August 15th 2019 and in this video I'm gonna do a review video and what I'm reviewing another monster rain this is monster rain sour apple here's the can closer up Yeah, uh, got this at Speedway like a half hour ago, uh, I also got nachos, I mainly went to Speedway to get nachos, and then I decided just to get this, another Monster Rain to review, uh, I actually originally did a vlog too, and I was going to upload that tonight and do this review tomorrow, but, and I tried to upload it with iMovie, but apparently... It, it wouldn't allow me to upload it to YouTube because it was over 15 minutes long and apparently it could only be 15 minutes by the max, which is stupid. And I don't feel like uploading it with Windows Movie Maker. I don't feel like uploading videos on my computer right now. So, yeah. So I just decided not to upload it. But yeah, Monster Rain Sour Apple. I think this is like the fourth or fifth. Fifth, I think this is the fifth Monster Rain I reviewed. I think there's a couple more I left that, that I have to review. But, uh, yeah. Here's some nutrition facts of this. It obviously has no sugar. Zero sugar per serve. Uh, nutrition facts. Serving size, 8 fluid ounces. 240 milliliters, servings per container, 2, calories 0, fat 0 grams, sodium 100 milligrams, potassium 35 milligrams, total carbs 1 gram, sugar 0 grams, protein 0 grams, niacin, niacin, whatever, vitamin B3, 50%, vitamin B6, 50%, vitamin B12, 50%, not a significant source of calories from fat, saturated fat, trans fat, Cholesterol, dietary fiber, vitamin A, vitamin C, calcium, iron, and magnesium. And the ingredients, I'll read some ingredients, not all, because some words I'm going to have trouble pronouncing. Carbonated water, citric acid, sodium citrate, natural flavors, alleucine, caffeine, and yeah, it's all the ingredients I'm going to read. You can research the rest of the ingredients if you want, if you care about the ingredients of this. But yeah, it's a sour apple. It's a 16 fluid ounce can. And let's read this part. Recommended for persons 18 years or older. Consume responsibility. Not recommended for persons under 18 years old. People sensitive to caffeine. Pregnant women or women who are nursing. Intended for healthy adults only. Consult a healthcare professional before consuming this product if you are taking any medication or if you have any pre existing medical conditions. One can s contain 300, and, 300 milli milligrams or caffeine from all sources. The FDA has stated that this consumption of up to 400 milligrams of caffeine per day from all sources is not associated with adverse health effects in healthy adults. Yeah, um, I'm watching the Cubs game against the Philadelphia Phillies. The Cubs are winning 5-1, which is awesome. It's the top of the ninth. Two on, two outs. Kyle Schwarber up to bat. Uh... another sour apple uh, I remember I reviewed the that one uh, NOS energy that was a sour apple flavor I think and I was, there was also a bang energy that was the sour heads so this one is rain sour apple this, I have a feeling this will be good even though it has no sugar and a lot of diet aftertaste but yep smells like apple let's drink it
Ah. Uh. Had the shivers. Sometimes I get those. It's just, uh, I get those for no reason sometimes. It's always happened to me. I've always had them. Three more outs, Cubs. And then they win. It's 8.57 p.m., about to be 9 o'clock. I really shouldn't be drinking this right now because it will keep me up. But then again, I'm drinking energy drinks late at night before and was able to fall asleep fine. So, eh. Who cares? A couple more sips and then I'll talk about it. Just to make sure I know what I'm going to talk about. Yeah, it's, it's a sourness. That's kind of also making me get the chills. Uh, yeah, Monster Rain Sour Apple. It basically has an apple, a sour apple flavor. It's definitely sour. It has an, a green apple flavor. <clears throat> Granny Smith apple flavor. Uh, you know, it tastes like those sour punch draws or whatever, which are pretty good. <clears throat> I think those, are, yeah, sour punch draws. I had them plenty of times. They're pretty good. And this is what this tastes like sour punch draws, the green ones. You know, they, they have blue ones, red ones, and I think another color. I think I could be wrong. But it's like this tastes like the green sour punch draws, and yeah, those are really good. And uh, has a little bit of a diet aftertaste, which isn't the best aftertaste. But the apple sour apple flavor kind of makes this pretty good. Makes you low. What am I saying? Makes you notice the 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 diet aftertaste less. You know, you don't really notice the diet aftertaste that much because of the sour apple flavor. But it's pretty good though. Uh, I definitely w would recommend this for sure if you come across it. I would definitely recommend this. And out of 10, a scale from 1 to 10, I'm going to give this a. Hmm. 8.5 out of 10. I say if, I mean, you can still notice the diet aftertaste a little bit, but not too much. But I say maybe if it had sugar in it, maybe it'd be a little bit better. It'd get a higher rating. But the diet aftertaste is the only, basically the only thing that gives us a lower rating. But other than that, this is pretty good. Or, yeah. Diet aftertaste just makes the rating lower, 8.5 out of 10, maybe 9 out of 10. Somewhere around there, an A minus, B plus. It's a good drink. See the color of this. I haven't even washed this out from when I drank beer out of this back on Sunday. Ah, it's a clear color. I thought it'd be a, I thought it'd be green. And I thought the color would it's definitely carbonated. I thought this would be green, but instead it's clear.
maybe that'll also take away a point or two. Because I wanted this to be green. Come on, sh this should be a green color for God's sakes, not clear. I don't know. I don't know if I'll take away points for that, but yeah, I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10. Mainly because of the dyed aftertaste. But it doesn't bother me that much. There are other the other monster rains I'm not a fan of. The dyed aftertaste is worse. But yeah. Oh come on! You could have got that. You could have oh, stupid era. We only need two more houses and we'll win. <gasps> yeah, I do recommend this. Uh, would I get this again? Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Probably not. But I would drink this again, though. I would, but I doubt I'll get this again. Not really a fan of any of the monster rains, to be honest with you. But this, I say, this is like the best monster rain out of all the ones that I reviewed so far. I think there's a couple more, but yeah. I don't think I'll drink too much more of this because I don't want to be up all night. It's only 9. Sometimes I usually go to bed at 2 o'clock anyways. 2 a.m. Yeah. Don't know what else to say. Uh, if you had this, what do you guys think of it? Like it, dislike it, feel free to comment down below. But I'm going to wrap up this review video with that. Stupid moth. Stay away from my wind. Sorry, there's a stupid moth or whatever right by my wind. I don't want to get away from the damn window. That scared me a little. I'm like, what the hell is that? But anyways, yeah, see you later, guys. Goodbye. I'll do more reviews, vlogs, rants. I'll maybe have a vlog this weekend with hanging out with my buddy Adrian, maybe. Or maybe if I just maybe by myself. I go to, when I go to the store to get beer, I don't know, but see ya, goodbye.